Hi guys, Mike from Job Ready English here. So this morning, Sebash asked for a video about personal introductions. So here we go. First of all, when constructing a personal introduction, which is me talking about myself and what I want and what I've done, is know your outcome. Know what it is that you want to achieve. You want a job? Work back from there. You want a raise? You want a date? Whatever it is, you need to work back from there. So be really clear in your outcome. And when I say you want a job, it can't be any job. It needs to be a specific job. And you'll see why as I go through. Next, the length. So 60 to 120 seconds is good. Less than a minute is fantastic, though quite hard. You'll talk for less as you practice more. Next, what should it contain? So first of all, always introduce yourself and give me a context. Hi, my name's Mike. I'm currently studying economics at LSE. I'm a third year bachelor student. So people know who I am, what I'm doing, and where I'm going to be. If I'm a third year student, then I'm gonna be looking for a job in this coming year. Next, we're gonna make a really important statement, which is, what do you want? I'm currently looking for an investment analyst or finance role in a bank, professional services firm, or financial company. So that's really simple. That's something that can be repeated over and over again, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Why do we say this? Because it's not always obvious. You should always make it as obvious as possible to your audience what you want and what you're trying to achieve. Never assume anything. Next, everything that we say after this point is going to be relating back to what I just said I wanted. So if I'm going to talk to you about my work experience, I'm only going to include the parts of my work experience that are relevant to being an investment analyst or working in finance. So it could be being highly numerate, working in a team, working in a high pressured environment, working to strict deadlines, good client facing skills. That all relates to the skills related to that job. I'm not just randomly telling you about my work experience. And the same goes for my academics. I'm going to tell you about modules, dissertations, things that I did that relate to that, whether that be to do with uh, knowing SAS, knowing MATLAB, knowing Excel, and so on and so forth. Everything must have a purpose. If it doesn't have a purpose, then cut it out of your content. And again, the same for our skills. Often people say, should I include my hobbies? Is it relevant? Is it relevant to you getting that job? If it's not, leave it out, because the other person isn't going to remember that. Um, my last tip is practice. No one has a good personal presentation first time. It just doesn't happen and I've seen it time and time again over the years. Practice, practice, time yourself, record yourself, listen back, make adjustments, do it 10, 20, 30 times. You'll be amazed at how quickly you will improve. So I hope you like this video. Like and comment if you wanted me to add something, if you'd like me to do some content for you, or if you have something that you thought that I missed out. Thanks guys, have a great